In 2011, you wrote an open letter uh, to then President Barack Obama looking at issues related to class warfare. And I'm curious how you view the current political environment and what's going on on perhaps both sides of the aisles as it relates to what you saw back in it's 2011. Very, uh, if you ask me about my long term concerns or concern, number one is there's too much debt in the system. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised how abruptly the economy slowed in response to a very small rise in rates. That tells me that there's too much debt in the mm. system. Public debt and private debt? Public and private debt, yes. And the second thing that bothers me, to be honest with you, is I think the tax package, while correct for corporate America, probably gave too much to wealthy people at a time when the economy mm. didn't need the stimulation. And I think that's going to come back and bite us in the can one of these days. What day, I can't tell you. The third thing that bothers me greatly is the uh, apparent move to the left that's taking place in the country, which really results from income disparity, which I'm very sympathetic to. You know, I'm a kid out of the South Bronx. So I went to public grade school, public high school, public college. I was lucky enough to make a lot of money on Wall Street. I'm giving it all back, not half. I've told Warren Buffett asking for half isn't asking for enough. I've taken the giving pledge. But I think that what made America great is our uh, system of capitalism. And capitalism has some flaws, but socialism has no benefits. Okay, and so I'm very worried. I think what happened in New York uh, with the movement led by AOC, I guess her, her nickname Alexandria is. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, yeah, uh, uh -huh. Is disgraceful. I mean, the number of jobs lost to wealth. You mean with and, Amazon? With Amazon? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Disgraceful. Totally disgraceful um, and wrong. And uh, I, I give you a quote. It's the only reason I have a piece of paper here. Everything else I don't need. But basically, <laughs> the main vice of capitalism is the uneven distribution of prosperity. The main vice of socialism is the equal distribution of uh, um, uh, misery. And, uh, you know, I'm committed to capitalism. Everybody has a hero figure in life, you know. Mine is Ken Langone. I read his book, I Love Capitalism. He's, he's a great human being. He's on point. And basically, we have to make sure the country does not move to the left. And what we have is a bunch of candidates running on the Democratic ticket that are leftward leaning. And that's just, in my opinion, very counterproductive, very destructive. So you believe a potential wealth redistribution lowering that would decrease the wealth gap in the country would be worse for the economy than... Long term, sure. I mean, basically, um, I did so much evidence. You know, two or three years ago, I went to Cuba on a mission just before it was legal to go. You could go on an educational mission. And the Cuban people are hardworking, industrious people. They're prospering, prospering in Miami. You go to Cuba, and the Cuban people get one quarter of a chicken once a month for their protein rationing. They spend two hours to commute from the countryside to downtown Havana because they have no organized transportation system. It costs about $3.75 a minute for cell phone services, which is ridiculous. So they have no cell phones. The people can't afford it. They have no satellite service, and they live in dilapidated conditions. And that's socialism versus capitalism. Now, why do we want to up for that? You know, and uh, it's all understandable what's going on. It's just difficult to deal with it. You know, Mr. Bernanke understood in 2008 the economy was going down the toilet. He had to reverse that. The best way to reverse was to get wealth up because the economist Pagu said 5% of changes in wealth worked its way into consumption. So he figured the best way to get wealth up is get the stock market up. And the trouble with that is there's a disproportionate ownership of who owns the stocks. Okay? Then the government tried to deal with that by creating financial suppression. They said, okay, you guys got a big windfall from the stock market, but we're going to give you no return on your savings uh, for as far as we can see. Because if you adjust the, the coupons on, on bonds and on treasuries and on right. short-term paper for inflation and interest rates, you're, you're losing ground. Right. Now they're trying to say, well, the wealthy have done so well in the last decade because of what the Fed has done, we want to take it back. And so Elizabeth Warren wants wealth taxes and uh, AOC wants a 70 percent marginal tax. These people are crazy, in my opinion. Basically, we have to deal with it in a different way. My view, basically, is I believe in the progressive income tax structure. I believe wealthy people should pay more. I happen to believe I'm my brother's keeper. You know, that's why I'm giving all my money back to society. But we have to agree as a nation, what should the maximum tax rate be on wealthy people? Because that will define the revenue yield to the U.S. government. Okay? Now, a lot of the politicians, they won't deal with it flat on. I hope Mr. Buffett isn't upset with me. I'm a huge admirer of his. But I called him five years ago and said, Warren, I agree with you that wealthy people should pay more. What do you have in mind? He says, if you make a million dollars a year, a 35% tax rate. If you make five million or more, 
a 40% tax rate. I'd sign on the dotted line and that instantaneously. If you live in New York, <coughs> New Jersey, Connecticut, California, high tax states, you're already in the 50s. What is the, it's, it's a moral question. What should the people give up of their hard work? You know, I'm lucky, okay? I worked very hard, but I worked right. hard doing what I love. I love yes. what I do, I do what I love. And I don't mind giving it back, but I think there's a question what the working person should do. If you ask right. the man in the street what the typical tax rate is of the wealthy people, they wouldn't have no clue. All right. Well, Lee Cooperman, thank you so much. So a lot much of thoughts stuff. there. A lot to unpack. I'm going to send it back over to you, Kelly. Thanks so much.